What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to take a look at some linear equation word problems. Now, the first question here, we have a large koi pond, and it's being filled from a garden hose at a rate of 10 gallons per minute. And we're told initially the pond has 300 gallons of water, and the first thing we want to do is find a linear function that models the volume of water at any time t. So what we need to know about the equation y equals mx plus b is that m represents the slope, and the slope is the rate of change. So this is an important detail, and we'll use this in a moment. The next thing we need to know is that the b value is the y-intercept. And in the context of word problems, this is the initial value. Okay, so that's what this means. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to define each term. So what we're told here, the rate is 10 gallons per minute. So our slope, m, is equal to 10. And then we have that the pond contains 300 gallons of water. So that's the initial value here. So this is our B value. We could say B equals 300. So now for part A, what we're going to do is we're going to write our function V of T. The only difference here is instead of saying Y equals MX plus B, we're going to write it in terms of T for time. So now M, our slope is 10. So we have 10 times T plus our B value is 300. So this takes care of part A. Now for part B, we want to find the slope of the function. So our slope is just the coefficient of x. But in this case, our function is in terms of t. So our slope is the coefficient of t. So our slope here is 10. And if we want to write the units, the units for our slope is gallons per minute. Okay. Now it's good to look at the units because what it tells you is it tells you information about the question, which may help us with later stuff like finding how long it takes to completely fill the pond. Now for this last part here, we could do this a few ways, but let's get a visual of this. So the visual is going to be, we're going to sketch this line. We have V of T going up and we have T going across. And the units are going to be gallons for this vertical axis and we're going to have minutes for the horizontal axis. And the way that I know this is that the units for slope is gallons per minute. Now, one thing that jumps out at me right away with these kind of questions is that slope is equal to rise over run. You probably heard this phrase before. So the unit on top, gallons, is talking about the rise, which usually corresponds to the y axis, but now we're calling it the v of t axis. And the run corresponds to usually the x axis, but now it's the t axis. So the unit on bottom minutes is going to go along this horizontal axis here. So now if we sketch the line 10t plus 300, we have a y-intercept of 300, and the slope is 10, so this line is just going up. And what we're looking for is when does the pond reach a capacity of 1,300 gallons, which is going to be at this time here along this horizontal axis. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is because students sometimes get mixed up as to which term they're plugging in for. So 1,300 gallons is going to refer to replacing V of T in our equation from part A. So we're going to have 1,300 equals and now we have 10t plus 300 and now we just have to do a little bit of algebra so we subtract 300 on both sides and that's going to get the plus 300 on the right to cancel and now we have a thousand on the left equals 10 times t so to solve for t just divide by 10 and this tells us that t is equal to a thousand divided by 10 is 100 and remember the units are minutes so we could say that it takes 100 minutes for the pond to completely fill. Now, if you wanted to write this in alternate way, know that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. You could also say that this is one hour and 40 minutes, but we could just also just write our answer in minutes. So the second question is a driving question. We're on Route 40, and this is a straight highway. It makes a steep descent towards Albuquerque, New Mexico. The highway has a 6% grade, which means the slope of the road is negative six over 100. And now we're driving on this road and we notice the elevation signs that tell us that we have descended a thousand feet, which means we've dropped a thousand feet. Now the actual question is what is the change in our horizontal distance in miles? So for this, we can use the equation y equals mx plus b. And now they're telling us here the slope m is negative six over a hundred. And our b value we could set equal to a thousand because we're starting from a height 1,000 feet above. So now the actual line is going to be y equals, we'll have negative 6 over 100x plus 1,000. So now let's sketch this line. So we're over here on the xy axis. We have a y-intercept of 1,000, which would tell us we're at the point 0, 1,000. And the car is dropping at a rate of negative 6 over 100. And that's when we notice the sign, when we've dropped 1,000 feet. So now we would be at the point x, 0 because we've dropped a thousand feet onto the, the x-axis where the y value is zero. So now think about what we know here. We know the slope of our line 
our slope is equal to negative 6 over 100. But just know in general, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what I could do is I could label this as x1, y1, and I could label this point here as x2, y2. And now we could just plug in our m value is negative 6 over 100. And our y2 minus y1 is going to be 1,000 minus 0 divided by we would have x2 minus x1 would be 0 minus x. So now this gives us negative 6 over 100 is equal to 1,000 over 0 minus x is minus x. So now here we just have to cross multiply. We're going to have negative 6 times negative x is positive 6x. And then we have 100 times 1,000. Well, that's two zeros and three zeros. So we're going to have a 1 with five zeros. So now we just do the algebra. We divide both sides by 6. And you can just punch this in a calculator, but x is going to equal, we're going to have 16,666 point, and then we're going to have a string of sixes like this. And then we can just tack on feet at the end, because in the beginning of the question, we were told that we descended 1,000 feet. So all of this is in terms of feet. So what we're going here, we're going down 1,000 feet, and we're going over, we found 16,666 point, repeating six feet. But if we stop here, we will lose attention to detail points because our final answer should be in miles. So now we just have to convert our answer to miles. So we have 16,666 point, and then we have our sixes repeating at the end. Feet, and if we want to convert to miles, we're going to multiply by one mile over 5,280 feet because there are 5,280 feet in a mile. So this is our conversion factor, and our units are going to cancel. Feet over feet cancel. And now we're just doing this number divided by 5,280. And we'll round to the nearest hundredths place. And if we round to the nearest hundredths, this is going to be 3.16 miles. And this is our final answer to the second word problem.